Oh, yo, what is going on, guys? The DFS Shark, and we are back with another day of some NBA hoops. It is now March 11th, and we got a decent NBA slate today. We got a decent NBA slate. There's about six games going on. Um, but as always, guys, if y'all watch these videos, y'all like these breakdowns, make sure you hit that like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can see these breakdowns as soon as they drop. And if you want these breakdowns even sooner, if you want these free plays even sooner before I even upload the video and all that, then join the Discord. The link will be in the description. I'm usually sending like two to three free plays a day. I play on multiple books, chalkboard, prize picks, underdog. Um, so I'm sending out multiple lineups there, but the link will be in the description. So we lost our free play yesterday, man. It was a terrible performance by one of our players, which I'm going to go over in a bit. Um, but we lost our three game win streak, uh, but we're looking to get it back tonight. But before I go over that, I just want to jump in here and show you if you're new to prize picks, you've never played before. Drop this promo code in right here below and they will hook you up with 100 percent match deposit bonus with MLB season coming up. I'm sure they're going to start running a ton of promotions and all kinds of things trying to get new people in there. So this is a great time to get on board and get started with prize picks. And also, if you're on prize picks already and you're looking to diversify to another book, chalkboard is going to be the best spot for that because they run so many discounted lines are called anchor lines there's usually three to five of those a day they run all kinds of boosted lines uh where they boost the odds up on payouts um and all kinds of stuff they're pretty busy and pretty active when it comes to discounts but they are only on apple at the moment coming to droid very soon but drop in that code shark at checkout and they're going to hook you up with that 100 percent match deposit bonus also and if you use either of these codes if you're in the discord shoot me a message and i will get you in the premium for 30 days and get you set up so we can start getting some dubs together but let's look at yesterday's play all right this is neemhard um a terrible performance by neemhard yesterday i mean like he he was i was watching him you know he played i don't know he played 20 25 plus minutes or so um but he just was non-existent on the court right nothing happening just kind of standing around wasn't even touching the ball a lot of possessions um so Nothing we can do there, man. Some players are just going to just play like that on our plays. It's all good. We're moving on. Giddy actually hit this in the first quarter, so he was crushing it. Um, but Neymar just couldn't do his part. But it happens, right? We had won three straight nights on free plays, I believe. We were on a 9-1 and one run. Now now we're on about a 10-2 and two run, which is still pretty solid, right? It's very solid. But a couple of those plays we just missed. But we are looking to get that back tonight. Um, and let me show you the full recap of everything that went down in the premium. Now, if you're not in the premium, if you're looking to join, if you're in the Discord already, just go to this join premium right here. And you'll see it, all the info about it pop up. Um, or if you're just watching this video and you want to check it out, go to the DFSshark.com. This is in the description as well. And you can go to my website here and kind of get a little more insight on it and what's involved if you want to join the premium you got some reviews from others that are in there and you can see some of the wins that we've gotten but this was the recap every single morning i do a recap of the night before so i like holding myself accountable and being 100 percent transparent so i'll give a full recap summary right here and then we go over the plays right so underdog we had a sweep yesterday we brought out the brooms we went at two slips only um but we went two and oh there yesterday on underdog prize picks after the great night we've been having, we lost our free play. And we lost these other two plays as well. Um, this was a rough one, right? They gave away Apollo discount. You can see if we click up to this, uh, this was their discounted line on Paolo. We hit McConnell in the first quarter, right? McConnell hit, that was an easy hit for us. And then the discounted line just couldn't come through. So that's the worst when that happens, All right? And then we had chalkboard. We hit three out of two here. Honestly, we should have hit four out of five because this play here, um, we hit both of these. This was a discounted line on De'Aaron Fox here. But this play, I don't know if you saw it. Sadiq Bay got hurt in the fourth quarter. Um, didn't even come back and play the fourth quarter. Looked like a pretty serious injury. Hopefully he's okay. But he was right at 14 when that happened. So he just needed two more, bu one more bucket and we would have hit that line. But it's all good. We still cashed on underdog and chalkboard. So I will take that every single day of the week. But let's dive in to what's on the slate today right so dgf this is the number one spot when it comes to finding the top plays every single day finding the top values because there's tons of player props on chalkboard and prize picks and you got to know which ones are the best values right that doesn't necessarily mean this top play is always going to be a play 
you want to kind of dive in and do your own thing, do your own research and figure it out from there. But hey, there's a lot of people that just play the top plays and they hit at a consistent rate as well. So whatever, whatever your style is, right? If you don't have a lot of time, then daily grind's perfect for you because you can just literally just hit this refresh button like I did and you can see what the top plays are and you can see all the odds the books makers have. You can see FanDuel has this at 20 and a half or Prize Picks has this at 20 and a half. FanDuel has it at 19 and a half. So you're getting great value on the under here by Luca because another book has it a whole point less than that. That's one of the ways you can use it. They have every DFS sports book you can think of. Uh, but drop in that code SHARK at checkout and they're going to hook you up with 25% off your first month here as well. Daily Grind, my number one tool. But let's get into the plays for the day. All right, so my first play is going to be Simons. So we're going to slide over to Simons here. Points and rebounds. I got this at 25.5. Hopefully the line is still there. Um, and you can see here, this is why it's important. If you want these plays early, join the Discord because this line already jumped up to 26.5. All right, 26.5. I was able to get this at a whole point less. So we're getting amazing value at 25.5. And you can see on this play here, for example, the difference between 25.5, 26.5, he would have lost on this line at 26 here. If you got him at this line at 26.5. But this is going to be my top play. Maybe you can find this on chalkboard or wherever you play. Points and rebounds. Simon's over 25 and a half. If we go to the game here, we got the Blazers late night game blazers plus seven and a half they are at home over 217 so not the biggest spread here but the reason i'm liking this play is he has just been simon's has been hot lately the last five you can see he's hit this line at a hundred percent this is over 25 and a half he's hit this line at a hundred percent of the time um his last 10 he's hit this at 60 percent last 20 60 percent head to head this was last year so that isn't, I mean, he played 38 minutes. He still hit 18, right? Still hit 18. Only had one board there. But for the year, he's hit this at 57%. But lately, he's been heating up a lot. Um, and if you go to the overall, they're 5 and 15th. The Celtics, they have a pretty solid defense. Pretty strong defense. Probably a top five defense in the league. But points allowed, they're fourth. But rebounds allowed, they are 20th against shooting guards. Um, I'm liking Simons to just come in here and score some points early. They're going to need him to step up. For them to have a chance in this game and he plays heavy minutes he's gonna play heavy minutes every single night let's go to his last 10 he's averaging 37.4 minutes a game so in a game that's highly competitive like this he's definitely gonna be needed in this game and you can see over his last 10 games how he's been shooting or let's see over his last five it's more recent right so he's been shooting 20 shots a game 48 percent he's been shooting nine threes a game hitting at 47 percent Right, free throws, he is almost automatic from the line at 91%, and he's been averaging about 4.4 total rebounds a game. So he can sneak you four to five rebounds a game. Um, we just need his shot to be on. You can see he gets a lot of his points from the three-point line. Um, he's a really solid shooter, shooting at about 40% over his last 10, 47%. So he's hitting almost one out of every two shots he's shooting right now. So I'm liking this play. Let's see what they have here on Rotowire. So if you add up his points in the rebounds here, you're going to get about 27.7. So Rotowire has him going over this line as well. We're going to lock this one. This is our top play of the day. And our second play of the day is a player that let us down the other night. All right, I'll show you that game. We had him. But we got P.J. Washington, PRA over 18 and a half. And this one has been bumped up to 19 already. It has been bumped up to 19. So just be aware of that. You can see if we would have had 18 and a half. He hit 19 two games, so we would have got the win. But if you had it at 19, you would have got the push there, which can make a big difference in the long run. Washington, we're going to go to the Mavericks game here. Mavericks versus Bulls over 233. So it's a pretty decent size total there. Close spread, minus four and a half. So this should be a close play battle all game. Hopefully it doesn't turn into a blowout. Uh, but going into P.J. Washington, last five, he's at this 80%. This was the game we had him, man. This was the game we had him. He just decided to not shoot this game he only had like four shot attempts or something like that um but hopefully we get him shooting more right his last five he's normally averaging like 10 shot 10.8 shots a game Just for some reason this game he shot two to three times he didn't want to shoot the ball right but he's playing about 33 minutes a game three pointers he's attempting about six threes a game so more than half of his shots 60 percent of his shots per game are three pointers so we're gonna need him to be on of 88 percent 
free throw shooter and getting about 5.6 rebounds a game. Last five, 80%. Last 10, 60%. Last 20, 60% as well. A lot of these games are when he, he was with Charlotte. Um, he came to Dallas at about the 10th here last month. Um, and since then, he went on a hot run right here. So he's been eating up with Dallas, starting to find his way. It took him a little bit of time. But he has a solid matchup against Chicago. You can see overall 14, 16th, and 21. But if you go down to um, power forwards, they're 27th and allowed, 30th allowed in rebounds allowed, and then uh, 18th allowed in assists. So he has a strong matchup here. Um, he's consistently been shown he can hit us this line. So I expect him to come out and keep hitting this line for us tonight. Going over to the injuries, the Bulls obviously have Levine ball out, Patrick Williams out, Torrey Craig game time decision, but it doesn't look like nothing on the Mavericks side. So looking at what the odds makers have, we got Caesars at a minus 129, DraftKings minus 135. PJ Washington, this is gonna be my second play of the day. I'm gonna be locking this one in. If we go to RotoWire and you add up his PRA here, you get about 20.1. So PJ Washington is looking like a solid play as well. These are my top two. And then I'm gonna give you three more plays that didn't quite make the cut. Now, if I was running a five-man slip, these are plays I would have thrown in, but I'm sticking to a two-man slip. I'm going to throw a five-man slip later on in the Discord and the premium plays as well. We're going to start working in some five- and six-man lines. Put in lower bankroll units. I usually play one unit a game, 1% one of my bankroll. Um, but for these five- and six-man lines, we're probably going to be doing a quarter of a unit. So 0.25% of a unit. Um, not as much in it, but we're going to try to hit some upside lines in there. But three additional plays I'm liking. These may make the cut later. They may get bumped. We'll see what happens. Vukovic points, rebounds over 32 and a half. You can see this line has been bumped up a whole point as well. So um, prize picks is on it this morning. They're on all these early values. People are hitting these values hard and they're bumping, bringing these lines up. So 33 and a half is the line now. Vukovic, it was at 32 and a half when I got it in. Let's see. The next one I have was Wimbenyama. I'm pretty sure they moved this one. I had over three and a half assists. That was the line I liked. Um, and I don't even see it on here no more. So that's the thing, man. When you find good values on prize picks, if you're not quick, they will either bump them or remove them. But if you're able to get this line anywhere else, women yam over three and a half assists is a very solid play. And then Cade Cunningham over 22.5 points. You can see they bumped this one as well. I had it at 22.5. It's already at 23.5. So every play I had got bumped or removed pretty much in this video and that's just kind of what happens every single video so the discord is a spot to be if you want to get these plays as soon as i drop them but that's going to be it for this one guys make sure to like and subscribe and also to join the discord to get early access to my plays and to be notified when i drop my prize picks videos in the mornings and then also every single night i am dropping chalkboard videos now if you've been able to tune into those they're usually a lot slimmer video usually like five to six minutes but I'm giving you my solid two-man bankroll builder plays. And we actually hit our line there yesterday. We're actually on a run over there, too. Six and one over our last seven. I will link that video to this one. As soon as it ends, you'll see the you'll see it pop up. So you can click over there and watch that if you want a solid two-man slip to throw in on chalk. But that's going to be it for this one, guys, man. Let's run those likes up. Yesterday, we crushed on the likes, hitting 60-plus likes. I think we were pushing like 80. Let's see if we can push 80 plus here. I've never hit 100 on a video, so let's try to run those likes up. That's going to be it for this one, guys. I hope you all have a great rest of the day. Take care.